Hi everyone, this is Odd Samurai, and today I'm gonna be reacting to Chainsaw Man chapter 114. Okay, so with this one, I've was i been spoiled about a few things already, unfortunately. So for one, I already saw the whole first page. I think it was like Shonen Jump Festa or something? Uh, but yeah, people were sharing it, so I legit thought it was like a fan art, like someone, you know, saying, oh, this is gonna be how the chapter is gonna go, but, you know, fan-made, but no, that was official, so that's, that's, that's it, that's, no, it's not it, but, you know, that's one thing, the other one, I think we're gonna see Cohen's brother, somehow, I don't know the context, but we are, we're gonna see the guy from the Devil Hunter Club, that is the fake chainsaw, and I'm pretty sure we're also gonna see Yoshida up here. So that's everything I have. At least I'm honest, but it, it was hard to um, avoid because I, I was looking, uh, uh, you know, I was I wanted to see what people were saying about the newest episode, and then just got hit by the chapter spoilers. So it is what it is. Let's start. Uh, the title is Endless Aquarium. How long is this hallway? We must have walked 100 meters. I told you, is this Eternity Devil thing? Oh, shut up. You you aren't even a devil hunter. Quit making things up. <laughs> Bro, I swear to Mitaka isn't making things easier. Hey, I know more about devils than you think. Well, I know more. I'm in the devil hunter club. Bro, what? What is with Mitaka and trying to act like she knows everything? It's true. She does know more about devils. Hey, what a coincidence running into you here. Okay, so he's in the aquarium. Yeah, fake chainsaw. The thing is, I, they either must have been already on the aquarium or we finally have an answer to, like, remember the first time with Ada being like, well, other devil hunters can come in, right? And help us out from the outside? But what if, what if they, stick, they, they stay stuck in a different loop? Well, now we know that if you enter the building where the internity devil has been affected it, you can actually meet up with people inside there. But you also cannot get out, I guess. Unless, you, like I said, they were already there. But I... who knows? Who the hell are you? The Devil Hunter Club? Who the hell are you? What a dirty mouth. But alright, if you want to know, I can answer that. I'm the Devil Hunter Club president slash student council president. Haruka Ise. Hey, Denji. Oh, Yoshida. <laughs> I, I was just waiting for that, actually. Last week, I mean. Last week, I mean. Because, I mean, he has to be... <laughs> uh, keeping tabs on Denji, so... I mean, of course he is. <laughs> He's doing his job, so he must have already been in on the aquarium for sure. You're Yoshida, what the hell are you doing here? Just doing his job, man. It's another coincidence. I just felt like looking at fish today, so I came to the aquarium. The next thing I know, we've been trapped in here right next to the devil. Oh, wow. Oh, Yoshida. That's, I could never imagine that. Person, and that's him. Hirofumi Yoshida, the guy who went from civilian devil hunter to public safety devil hunter while still in high school. Well, so he's a big name. I, I didn't know that was common knowledge. Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. Well, I'm the devil hunter club president slash student council president. <laughs> he's just repeating that. Haruka. Ah, I knew it. We were trapped. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. So he's part of the devil hunter club? We, we couldn't see his eyes before. <laughs> and then we have Denji, Mitaka, and the, and Haruka just being like, huh? This isn't a dream. We're under attack by a real life devil. Yeah, he's sweating and crying. He's definitely part of Kovani's family. I never wanted to join the devil hunter club. My mom made me. She said it would get me scholarships. Oh, bro. <sighs> Now I have to feel bad for both of them. They're 
both in a similar situation now. This place gets a lot of devil activity, so we were on patrol here. You guys must have noticed too. A devil's power is making this hallway go on for you know shit, don't you already knew that? It looks like there's no way out no way out unless either outside help arrives or we kill the devil. Okay, outside help, so there's they're not from the outside. They were already in the aquarium. Well all of that all of that me just trying to figure that shit out that was useless. Did you dude see the devil anywhere? No. And then Mitaka is thinking back, back to what Fami said. You are leaving this aquarium until you can turn Denji into a weapon. I still don't know, have no idea how the hell Fami is using the Eternity Devil. My name is Haruka Isilmi. As Devil Hunter Club President, I ask that you obey my orders in the situation. From this point on, we have two goals to exter exterminate the devil and to survive. Bro, why is this guy taking leadership? Oh yeah, he's a ch he's Chase of Oh, that's fucking funny. <laughs> oh, she's so funny. Then as long as I do as he says, maybe I can get out of here without turning the new into a weapon. Actually, if I can kill him, I won't need to turn anyone into a weapon. I could get my body back from Yoda without causing trouble for any more people. Then again, there's no way I can kill him on my own. Can I really turn Denji into a weapon though? Mm. He's having a dilemma. Is she okay? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so now we have, we have added more people to the party. We have Haruka, Izumi, Denji, Mitaka, Kobani's brother. I mean, we, we haven't been told his name, but. I can see what people are saying that that's him. Yoshida and the last dude from the Devil Hunter Club with an eye patch. Yeah, so they're looking, they're looking, but obviously they're not gonna get a, an exit until they find the devil. Phew, they found a room. We're lucky the aquarium had this room. Must be an employee lounge or something. They're drinking water in the fridge and more water in the identical fridge. And the identical lounge 20 meters down the hall. Yeah, <laughs> very, a lot of deja vu here. In other words, if we keep moving from lounge to lounge, we'll never go thirsty. Ah, uh, but we need food or we'll, we'll starve to death. Uh, we found a room connected to the fish tanks and took some fish from it. If we cook them, it should be enough food to last us a little while. But an aquarium won't have a fire source. Oh, I, I have some fire. My bullies make me light their cigarettes, so I carry a lighter? Oh, buddy. We can start a fire big enough to cook the fish using the lounge newspaper as kindling. That solves our food problem. I can't eat fish. What? Why not? Are you allergic? Fish just, it looks too much like a dead animal. It grosses me out. It's because it is a dead animal. <laughs> Bro, what is happening to Mitaka right now? Am I... <laughs> like... It just feels like she's being more of a... A stock of loser than she used to be. <laughs> I'm going to take a quick look at Sai. Yeah, I see that she can't take being judged by everyone, huh? Oh, Denji is there too. Uh, that... What are you doing? Nothing. Then why'd you make a noise like I caught you red-handed? There's 1,000 yen in a bag on the ground. I was picking it up. That's theft. You're a thief. Finders keepers is my money. I'm not handing it over to anybody. That's right, Denji. Don't let her tell you otherwise. You gotta be sneaky to survive. You're the only one who isn't helping out. Aren't you ashamed? What did you do to help then? <laughs> Uh, she mad because he's right. Whatever, go to hell, you thief. Say what? You go to hell. Unless, technically he's already gone. No, no, technically. Literally, he's gone to hell and come back, so. <clears throat> go to hell, go to hell, go to hell. So, okay, they're both just telling each other that. They're so... I can definitely see a friendship forming in the future. Hopefully. What's wrong with him? I went on a date with him and he said he acts like that. What? You still have 
no idea where he was and enjoying the date? Maybe I should turn him into a weapon, right, Yoru? You don't have Yoru right now, dummy. Fami took her. Hmm. I wonder if she feels lonely now that she doesn't have Yoru the whole time with her. She's getting used to it. I'm not a loser like Denji. I have to contribute to the group somehow. Oh. Mm hmm? And then we have the other four on the room. Oh, what? Mitaka, is that a cellular phone? How did she get a phone? Isn't this 1997? Oh, I'm dumb. You know what? Uh, don't, don't mind me. I feel like I'm... Yeah, um, uh, you know what? I wouldn't know, okay? I was born in 1987. You have one as a student? Yeah, well, technically it's my mom's. Does it have a signal? Mm, oh, it had a bar for a second there. Atta girl, strike down the signal. Then we can call for help from devil hunters on the outside. Higher, the signal will be higher. She did it. <laughs> and we have a panel of, like Yoshida with his eyes closed. Oh, wow. thank gosh, I'm gonna leave. It feels like there's a signal around here. Do high schoolers these days own cell phones? I don't think that was a thing back then. Luckily for us, Mitaka is ahead of times. Of the times. Interesting that this guy is using her first name. Haha. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. All we need to do now is sit back and wait for rescue. Yeah, I don't think that cell phone is getting signal. Ow! And she falls down. Everyone looks worried. And she broke the cell phone because she fell on it. To be fair though, I'm not gonna uh, rag on her this time because that was a genuine accident. But she looks... You know what this is again? This is giving me flashback of... Flashbacks of what happened with the chicken Rocky. That's just, that's just how she, that's very her. Duh. Oh. <laughs> Yoshida's just laughing, but there's a, a little, you know, sweat going around him on his face. No way. Uh oh. And then Haruka sighs. You complain you aren't a team player, and you failed to come through in the clutch. I expected better from you. <laughs> well, someone's calling her out. <laughs> I want to feel bad for her, but like, she hasn't had the best attitude so far. Oh my god, the almost looks like she, she got time out like now. You go, <laughs> you go sit outside on the hallway, you lady, and sit at, sit and think about what you've done. No, like I, I don't understand, right? Like she obviously feels bad because there's she can't seem to do anything right, like almost ever. So, I understand that, uh, and she's very desperate because, you know, uh, well, she wants to get rid of Yoru, of course. I mean, that's what she says, but I feel, I get the feeling that, um, she's gonna realize that she doesn't want to let go of Yoru now that she's felt how it feels to not have anyone by your side at all times. Uh, and just, I think the, her thing is that, I think she is self-aware, I just, she doesn't ever want to admit it to anyone. So that's why it's hard, it's been a lot of hard to sympathize with Mitaka the last two chapters. <clears throat> It's been, you know, great for the comedy, but it's just, God, it's a little hard to 
uh, you know, go along with her for sure. <laughs> and like, because she doesn't make it easy. Uh, but that's, I, I will say like, because she's very flawed, that uh, she definitely fits in with every other major character we've had, we've had in the series. I do wonder if she's ever gonna change. Or it's gonna be more of like, yeah, that's just how you are, so don't, you know, don't be repentful about it. Or if you're gonna be repentful about it, then make sure that you change in the small ways so that people don't, well, don't see you like a, like a burden. But yeah, that, that was the chapter. Um, there was a lot that I was expecting and a lot that, um, well, some of it that, that I was glad I wasn't spoiling. Uh, so even though I feel like not much progressed, I do feel like we're getting some, uh, just some, what's the word? Just the way Yoru ended up at the end of the chapter, I feel like we may get a, some more insight into her. And maybe she'll want to look more, uh, just the way she acts. So she'll see the way she acts and try to rectify it and not be so harsh with Denji and others just because they don't either they don't fit into her standards or it's because <clears throat> uh those are the stand standards that she wants to be at but she isn't so that frustrates her I don't know I'm just spitballing here uh but yeah that was my reaction and if you enjoyed please like and subscribe see ya